Hey guys, this is Miss Castillo. I hear you're all dying to hear my voice. Well, here I am. Hi okay. guys. <laughs> We're going to be working on uh, the amino acid comparison data sheet today. So after you read the instructions, you'll know that we are comparing each species to the human species. So what I've done first is highlighted this first DNA genome sequence. And then I'm going to go through and compare my human sequence with um, the rest of the amino acids below it, so from the other species. So this is going to start to make more sense if we keep looking. So we'll have our first sequence here, and then I'm going to look below, and I'm going to highlight all of the ones that are similar to my human sequence in yellow. So I'm coming through, and I'm going to highlight them. Let me see. Here it is. And then I'm also going to do this one at the bottom here. So those are all the ones that are similar to my human genome sequence or DNA gen genome sequence. And then I'm going to do this one that's different that we where we have this T here. I'm going to do this one in a different color and I'm going to choose green. You might want to choose something that stands out a little bit more. But now I'm going to go through and I'm going to do the same thing for each one. So I'm going to go through same thing here. And these two are different. So again, I'm going to make them green. Same thing here. So this is a T. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight all of my T's here. In yellow. And my S here in green. Okay. And then I'm going to go through, again, all of these. All right. So when you're done highlighting on your paper, you should have something that looks like this. Um, then you're going to go ahead and go on to the next part where it says record how many differences you saw in the amino acid comparison data sheet to humans. So you're comparing, making the comparison among all the other species and humans. So And, and the humans. So I'm going to look at where it says number amino acid difference, uh, S2 differences to humans and then I'm looking at species two so I'm going to come over here and I'm looking across and I'll notice that they're exactly identical because I don't have any green in there everything is yellow so here I'm going to put the num I'm going to put the number zero right then I'm going to go on to species three and I'm going to uh, count my, all of my differences in the DNA genome sequence. And here you'll notice that I have four green boxes or the N, T, L, and S. And so then you'll know that I have four. Then I can move on to the next species, which is my chimp. And again, they're all yellow here. So I'll know that I have zero. Again, for gorilla, you'll notice that they're all yellow because remember, I'm comparing this first line with the line I have here. And I've already gone in to note all of these differences. So again, I'll have zero. Then the squirrel monkey, I have three, four, five, six, if I did this correctly. Um, maybe I did, maybe I didn't, but you guys are going to do it the right way, so it doesn't matter. Um, and then I have, I'm supposed to have 8, and then I believe 10. So, after you do that, you're going to predict the order of closeness in which organisms are related to humans. So, obviously, the ones that don't have any differences in that DNA genome sequence are going to be the ones that are most closely related to humans. So, if we go back up to our data here, I'll say, okay, well, the... And then the chimp and the gorilla are most closely related to humans. And then I'm going to put them in that, new, uh, in that order from the least number of differences to the greatest number of differences. So my next one would be the rhesus monkey followed by the squirrel monkey and then the ringtail lemur, and then the horse. After you're done with that, you'll be ready to move on to part C, and you're going to do the exact same thing. So you're going to write the position number, compare each species amino acid sequence with the humans, highlight the amino acid, so same thing. Two colors, you're going through comparing them to the, you're comparing the two genome sequences for, of the human and then all of the other species below it. So um, good luck. Have fun.